Yeah, that's my toothpick. Gonna need it in a while. Welcome back, that's the Tech for All channel, and this is the M8S Pro by Mikul. You can have a look at the review. Somewhere around, just click on the video. Uh, we point to a lot of pros and cons of this product, also checking out its performance, productivity, and uh, the interface. If you like it, you can buy it from the link in the description below. Now, what I want to do today is to actually root this TV box because the lack of root is one of the things I will point out as a disadvantage on this beautiful Android 7.1 device. You have to know that getting root may or may not void your warranty. Before doing that, make sure to check out with your seller whether he would accept this device to be rooted or not. All you're gonna need is the right recovery, the Super SU package and a toothpick. Let's try it. If you haven't checked the review of this great TV box, find out and learn more about this device. Disclaimer, what you will see here will likely void your warranty and may cause irreversible damage to your TV box. In short, there always is the possibility of breaking it. Although TV boxes are usually tough to destroy. You must copy the Super SU zip file as well as the correct recovery to the root folder of a micro SD card. To do so, you have to choose the correct recovery depending on which version of Android your TV box comes with. The first batch of these is with Android Marshmallow and the current ones come with Nougat. In any case, the recovery.img has to be placed in the main micro SD card directory. I've searched a lot in the freak tab forums and couldn't find a recovery for that box. When I usually run out of ideas, the huge Russian 4PDA website comes super handy. There's a lovely thread about the M8S Pro, unfortunately in Russian, but you can easily get it translated in your browser. Once you manage to root your device, you will be able to run cool apps like this power manager. I will use it to shut the device down and show you how the procedure goes. That will also work from the remote, however the remote cannot reboot to recovery or even just reboot. This is where the reset button is hidden. Stick the toothpick. Keep it pressed and connect the power. You have to keep the reset button pressed for as long as you see the recovery. From that point on, it's easy. You go to the install menu and choose the Super SU package. And that is all. When I did this on my box, the Super SU app in the launcher was not starting. I had to uninstall it and then install the version that is linked in the description below. And once that was ready, Root was working without any issues. You see, nothing difficult. Let me know how this goes on your side. And maybe think of subscribing to the channel. Thanks.